Hey guys, it's Kristen, and welcome, or welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about adaptations. Okay, so this morning when I checked my email, as we do, uh, I had the promo email from Audible for their two-for-one credit sale that they often do, and the book that they featured in their promo was this fucking book. And it resurged uh, some, some feelings that I had. So I read Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple a few months ago, maybe like towards the end of last year actually. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this book. It follows Bernadette Fox, who is a mother and uh, an architect or artist, uh, and she has some pretty severe mental health issues. She's agoraphobic. She has a lot of anxiety, and she's just battling that, and she has one daughter with her husband, and they are planning a trip to Antarctica as a kind of gift for her daughter, who is apparently, like, super smart and shit. And this is told in the format of letters, emails, uh, post-it, I, I don't know, just like notes and emails. And it's a back and forth. I really like that format. It flows well and it, it really gets you into like these conversations. Um, and so to plan this trip to Antarctica, Bernadette hires a virtual assistant to uh, get the tickets, buy all the equipment and clothes that they might need, and like a few other uh, tasks just that a personal assistant would do, right? Um, come to find out that her virtual assistant is just a fucking scam. Even though that they went through the motions of doing the the assistant things, like they actually bought gear for this Antarctica trip, um, it was just a ruse to gain access to personal info and financial info for this family. It was a good book. I might even say it was a great book, but like for now, I, I would have to like skim it again and reread a few things. But I really enjoyed it. I remember I would I I stayed up late actually reading, um, and I laughed in some parts. That being said, this was made into a movie, and I was stoked for the movie. And then I watched the movie. And I, it's so, like, cliche to say, oh, the book is better than the movie. But, like, in this instance, the book was so much better than the movie. And let me say, like, I understand that when you adapt written work to the screen, whether it's movie or TV, certain liberties have to be taken to make it fit, to make it flow, to fit, uh, especially for a movie, to fit it into an acceptable time package. Um, I get it. Some things need to change. But when you completely deviate from source material, that ain't okay. I, I'm so, I, especially when it's, oh, I don't, I don't even know how to, so, for the most part, the movie, it follows along until you get to one of, like, the big conflicts, which is her marriage, right? She's married to this dude. Um, and in the book, he's just a fucking jerk. Like, spoilers be damned, he cheats on her, gets his assistant pregnant, and... Um, ends up like living with them or buying her a house. I don't quite remember. He buys her the other, 
Either way, his assistant has a house that he that she lives in, and he goes to for meals or something, and he she's carrying his bastard child. In the movie, completely ignores it. I, I, and it, it made me so mad. It made me so mad that in the movie they portrayed Bernadette Fox's husband as being like this loving and understanding and you know just nice husband when he was in fact a fucking asshole um yeah so in the book the dad and the daughter B I, I really want to say her name is B um after Bernadette fucking goes missing or just disappears they go on their trip to Antarctica. I'm really trying to remember the details. So they go on their trip to Antarctica a week after Bernadette has gone on their trip to Antarctica. And that's where... That's where Bernadette disappears. She, and they think that she has fallen overboard because that's the only explanation that they can give for a missing person on a cruise ship, since if you've never been on a cruise, you have to, uh, like, scan in and out every time you get off a boat. So, she goes missing from this Antarctic cruise. Dad and baby go after her, um, and the daughter is, you know, she's looking for clues as to where her mother could have gone. Bernadette escaped to Antarctica. <laughs> like, that's... You don't need to read it. You know what happens. Um, and... And, uh... In the book, the dad is just... You know, he's made his bed. He's lying in it. He's doing whatever for his daughter and his pregnant mistress. Um, but in the movie, Dad is just, like, fighting the good fight to help find Bernadette. With no mention of his sordid affairs. And I think it... It takes away to part of conflict because not like obviously there doesn't always need to be like some sort of romantic conflict for something but I mean her marriage was a large part of who she was and how she grew into this person with heightened anxiety and agoraphobia and you know whatever else mental issues she was suffering with and it just took away from the experience of the movie. The movie felt rushed. I mean, I don't even know a lot of people who know about the movie. Kate Blanchett is Bernadette Fox, and that is, like, one of the things that sold me on wanting to watch it, uh, because I think she's an amazing actress. And she did well in her role, but it was just a shitty movie. And I think that if you're going to try to adapt written works to the screen, don't deviate so fucking far from source material. Yeah, I think that's the end of my rant. I don't, <laughs> I had so much feelings about this when I consumed it however many months ago. And apparently they are still alive in me. <laughs> don't be a dick. Don't change the story. Too much. Yeah, so I don't know what the point of my rant is. I just apparently felt compelled to talk about it. Um, it's still a great read. I highly, highly recommend this, especially if you're a mom. You don't necessarily have to have anxiety or anything to relate to Bernadette, but she, she's, she, she's a fun, she's a fun time. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all I have to say on this. If you're looking to adapt written work to screen be nice be good to your material i mean that's all i can say right i don't know um yeah so 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.